Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can set up OBS to you, uh, show followers whenever they follow you on Twitch. So like when somebody follows you on Twitch, it'll say, thanks for following XYZ person, whoever that XYZ person is. Like if, you know, Fomintz followed you on, on Twitch, it would be like, Fomintz, thanks for following, like something like that, right? I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, it's going to be a little weird because you're going to end up seeing this on the screen, which is OBS. And I'm actually live recording with OBS, so we're going to add it to this OBS scene. It's real weird. I don't know how it's gonna work out in the end, but uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how this works out. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, you want to go to uh, nightdev.com/slash/follower-alert or the first link in the description down below. Go in there, click that. It'll take you here. Where you want to click on install, and then you want to click on OBS download for Windows because I'm on Windows. If you're for Mac, you want to do it for Mac, right? But I'm on Windows, so we're gonna click on OBS download for Windows. It will then download this browser right here, which is a CLR browser, which is basically like a web style thing in Twitch or in OBS. It receives things from the Twitch API and all that stuff. So it's a little weird, but as you can see, it's downloading up here. Look at this downloading file. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to jump cut and I will see you guys when the file is downloaded. Once the file is downloaded, it will uh, look something like this or it won't. It will look like a, a zipped file. See, see like that, that folder with a zipper on it? It'll look like that. Either way, what you want to do is find unzip files or extract files. I have extract. You might have unzip. It doesn't matter which one you have. Just click on one of them and then follow through the dialog boxes. For me, it's okay. For you, it might be confirm. Yes, that's fine. Whatever it says, click on that and you will get a nice folder. Basically, turn this from a book folder or a zip folder into a normal folder that you can open. And then delete the, the one you downloaded, the book or zipped folder. Now, once you get in here, you'll have CLR browser 4 repack and you'll have install. You click on that, you click run, it'll go through and install some things, but I'm going to stop it in its tracks because OBS is open and it won't install for me. If OBS is open, this will not work, so make sure it's not. It'll go through, install, and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, you can also probably get some help from this README if you have any issues with that. So as you can see, double click and style, file into the batch style plugin, boom, and then there's some troubleshooting stuff. So don't be afraid to look at that README if you have any issues. Nevertheless, once it's installed, it's uh, pretty easy to set up. You want to go back to this website. Hope you didn't close out of it. I didn't tell you to if you did. So come back to this website. First click down below. Click on install here. And then click next. Here we go. Now, you can design this however you want. Now, you need to enter your Twitch username in here. For me, we'll just do Nick's Games because that's my Twitch username. Kind of makes sense. Uh, for the style, you can pretty much do whatever you want. We're going to do this one because it actually says new follower on it. Whereas I don't think these did, correct? Oh, they did. But I, I still like... I still like uh, that one the best. So we're going to do, which one was that? Flip Trapezoid? No? Old fo There we go. This one right here. I like this one. You can click on any of these. You can actually do a custom design if you want. Um, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But we're not going to be using a custom design here. I'll just show you how you can add one. As far as the transition goes, you can fade. You can slide down. You can do all that stuff. We're going to be fading with this. And the color of the alert can be changed as well. Um, I'm thinking for this one because I like blue. We're going to do blue. Look at that. Now, for the sound, you just choose sound and then upload the sound. Pretty simple stuff, but uh, we don't want any sound for this. I would recommend not doing sound to your follower alert because if a lot of people follow it once, then uh, you're kind of out of luck. Now, as you can see up here, it says I'm logged into Dropbox. Whenever you go to add a custom thing, right? So, if you add anything custom at all, right, you'll be using Dropbox to do that, right? Dropbox is what adds everything custom from sounds to images to everything Dropbox does it. Um, and the reason he uses Dropbox is because he doesn't want to host it on his own server, rightfully so. So he makes Dropbox host it. So just sign into Dropbox. If you don't have a Dropbox account, use that, you know, your create one and all that stuff. But you go in here next, it actually prompts you to log in with Dropbox before you even get started. So log in with Dropbox, boom, API request, all that stuff, access Dropbox, takes you here, and there you go. So you've got to use Dropbox be able to do this no big deal right no big deal Dropbox is super easy it's free all that stuff so just set up a Dropbox account and you're good to go now enter all the information you need to again we'll do Nick's games and then we'll do um, what did I like it was like old flat I believe and then fade and then we'll make it blue just so you know I'm actually did do some stuff it's actually more of a purple but that's fine we don't want a sound file click next and it generates uh, this awesome code here so we can go ahead and control C and copy this code over into OBS. Now you can do any kind of custom CSS if you want, and then there you go, you've installed it. Now, come back over here to OBS, right? This is where we really want to do this at. We want to add, and then we want to add CRL browser. That is what we installed earlier. If you don't have that, go back to the troubleshooting thing in that README file and follow through that there. Nevertheless, go ahead and click on CRL browser. It'll open up this. You want to name it, we'll just do follower alert test. Sure, that'll work. And then once this opens, we'll cover that in a 
All you gotta do is just take this URL that you got back on this website right here. So take this URL right here, copy it, control C, and then come back over to here and, uh, and paste it into the OBS right here. So paste, and there you go. Boom. It is now good to go. As far as the size of this goes, it needs to be 580 by 110, as you can see. So 580 by 110, boom. And the opacity can be turned all the way up and still be good to go. So there you go. Click OK. And uh, the follower alert is there. Now it's not going to plop unless, guess what? You add this at the end of the URL. And preview equals true. I leave this on all the time on mine because I always want to make sure it's working. So go ahead and right click properties on the thing you created. And at the very end of this URL down here, right, very end of it. So get all the way to the bottom. And right there it is. Make sure you're at the bottom. Go ahead and paste what we just had there, which was and preview equals true at the end. Click OK, and as you can see, there it is. Now for you, it's actually over that way, and it's really big, right? And it's also on the screen, I think. I, I, I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but we're going to see if it works, and if it doesn't, I'll redo this tutorial, and you'll never see this. So anyway, guys, there you have it. As you can see, the follower alert is working. We can refresh it one more time. You can bay edit scene and click on this to make it bigger, right? Now, big, making it bigger will kind of destroy the quality a little bit, but you can do that, right? You know, really really make sure people know you're happy they followed right there it is but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i was hope this wasn't too weird because of the the whole entire like obs in obs thing but showing you how to do something in obs i hope it wasn't if it was again you will never see this video but give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel I make awesome gaming videos and minecraft tutorials and other kind of tutorials and everything every single day of the week so be sure to subscribe it really helps me out and uh, means a lot to me plus if you enjoyed the video and helped you out it just kind of makes sense anyway guys i'm nick games and i'm out peace man that was a long outro i was like leading up to that for a long time wasn't i yeah bye guys and here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got Nick's Craft episode 36. That's an epic and awesome Minecraft Let's Play series where uh, we play Minecraft 108 and build a village in the sky. It's like literally a village in the sky. It's incredible. And down the other way, we've got Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 episode 3. And that is a Let's Play of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 that I'm doing. Um, and, and it's awesome. Go check it out. I love Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and I think you'll love it watching me let's play it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games and I'm out guys. Peace. Well, what is this other finger? Peace.